Futures pulling back from yesterday's record run. House Democrats, of course, releasing the biggest piece of their COVID relief bill, extending the unemployment insurance by $400 a week through August, sending $1,400 stimulus checks to individuals making less than $75,000 a year. What kind of implications will this stimulus package have on markets and the economy? Well, I wrote this week it's going to be rocket fuel on top of rocket fuel because all we've talked about is just how much cash is already out there, Maria. You know, we talked about that $2.2 trillion CARES Act last year. We had $900 billion worth of stimulus at the end of the year, and now another $1.9 trillion worth of stimulus. And this all equates to one thing. We are just going to have a huge party come the second half of the year once the economy reopens. Uh, consumers now are sitting on, like, literally $2.4 trillion worth of cash. And I know you have Nancy Lazard on your show. She's a strategist. She's calling for 7% economic growth by the end of the year. That's the best economic growth since 1983. And I made this joke before, but we're going to party like it's the 80s, and it's not a joke. Like, I'm going to have, like, literally 10 roof deck parties this summer. I'm going to make it a Miami Vice theme because it's like the <laughs> 80s. You're invited. Dennis Garman's invited. Okay. And it's just going to be <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> well, but I think the important I'll, thing— I'll wear some 80s outfit. I'll wear my 80s uh, looks so we can uh, party like the 80s. Okay, that sounds good.